Hi guys. So something amazing is happening. The sun is shining. I have my curtain below, so maybe I should pull the curtain back a little bit. I think we have sunlight for about some minutes <laughs> because it's about to go past a house. But I'm sorry for this background. We're just chilling in the sofa as usual. But today I will show you my November favorites. Um, at, fir at first I thought I would do like a theme, maybe like small favorites, small leaves favorites or big leaf favorites. But since it's my first like favorites video, I thought, no, let's just go for all the favorites I have right now. So I've picked um, 10 plants to show you and to talk a little bit about them. And we can start with the one that I have in front of me. I have everyone here on the table. So this is the Anthurium debili peltatum. Uh, I got this from Equigenera a while ago and I don't know why I like it so much because it's not getting bigger and it will not get any bigger. This is the biggest size of the leaves that it has. Um, so this is a very compact and small Ethereum, but maybe that's what I like and the leaves are so shiny. They're shiny, they're like grayish, matte-ish and yeah, I really like this one. I hope it will flower for me soon though, because I want it to flower. <laughs> so Anthurium Debili Peltatum, that's my first favorite. So my second favorite is a plant that I actually was trying to sell a couple of times, but I never did. So I chopped off a bunch of ugly leaves I rerouted it and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make this work. So she flowered for me a couple of months ago and I was so happy about it. And now she's flowering again, although <laughs> it has only three flowers and yes, it's a Hoya. So it's a Hoya Crassiopetiolata Splash. And I don't know if you can see it. It has a few, few flowers. Right there. And since it's flowering for me and it has flowering for me three, two times now, I'm thinking, okay, we can be friends, right? But this plant used to be so big and luscious and the leaves were incredible. And now the leaves are just like yellowing and dying off and yeah, maybe she needs a new pot. I don't know. We'll see. So the third favorite of mine is a plant that I bought as a seedling. And when I got it, it was this big, maybe? It was basically the seed with a little tippy thingy pointing out so it was barely nothing and she has grown to be at least something it's a anthurium pese of crossfit crystallinum what the heck <laughs> okay so let's start with this one so it's an anthurium pese of crossfit crystallinum and it's so cute and I do not have any Bessier or Crystallinum. I used to have a Crystallinum and I did not like that one. And I have bought a Bessier app now from Equigenera. I hope it will arrive this week. But I don't know, this cross is too cute. But I don't know if you can see what's else in this pot. I forgot about this, but I put some Alcacia Corms inside this pot and I forgot about it and they're growing. I don't even remember what they were, but that's fun. One, one of them are growing at least. So yeah, I think I got this one for like 
two bucks, two euros. Let's continue. Let's take a big one. If you are following me on Instagram, I don't think you will surpri be surprised that this is one of my favorite. It's the um, Philodendron Plumanii. And a lot of people ask me if this really is a Plumanii because it has no silver spots. But yes, it's a Plumanii and Philodendron Plumanii has a lot of different like species in itself or how you say. So I have the one with more green version. It has some spots, but not too much. Um, and other ones are like more silvery and yeah. And this is the newest leaf so far. So what I love about this plant is obviously the leaves, the size of the leaves and the greenish um, color, the sinus. But I also love the back sides. I don't know how to show you. The back side are um, red. And it has these cool like ruffles on the stem. I really, really like that. Uh, I got this plant as a one leaf cutting. That leaf has died off, but it left me this whole plant. So let's continue with the big one. So I think of all of these 10 favorites I have in front of me, I think this is number one. Ethereum Luxurians, the plant that I thought was looking very much like a peperomia in the beginning when it's small, it looks like kind of a peperomia, but so it has this cool texture. It's really dark. Really, really dark. And it has a new leaf. Look at that. Can you see it? I hope so. So this is also a plant that I got from Equigenera a while ago. I thought it was expensive at the time. I think I purchased it for 59 euros. But I've heard that that was a good price because it had this size. <clears throat> because it was this size already when I got it. Um, yeah, so the le new leaf comes out really red and really tiny, but it will grow with time. So please follow me on Instagram to see the progress of this new leaf. So from big leaves to small leaves. So this is a Dishidia SP SPF. Here's Suta from Indonesian. I absolutely love these tiny leaves. And it's so cute when it's um, sun stressing because the leaves become like really red. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has some new leaves coming there too. So I have another Hoya. This Hoya should be about this big but just like the Tishidia I have taken a lot of cuttings from this Hoya because it's very popular because <laughs> it has a different kind of variegation so it looks like a, a Louis Bois but you can see the variegation is a bit different so it has the variegation inside but it has some green as well so i don't even know the name of this one i called it well i and my friends called it a hoya bella louis bois hybrid some say it's just like a bella a variegated um i don't know the unfortunate thing about this is that when you once you cut it so i cut it down here and then it just looks like a louis bois but then it starts to grow and it became this variegation again. So the variegation seems stable, but not at first when you cut it. Then you have the regular Louis Bois, but then like the second or third leaf will become this variegation again. So I don't know what it's called, but I like it. And maybe just the Louis Bois, I don't know. I think it's cute anyways. 
So next we have a philodendron. And I noticed this now that this is getting a bit yellow on the leaves. It's the oldest leaf though, so hopefully it's not any pest or anything. But okay, so if you go back and watch my very sad unboxing that I did uh, several, several months ago, I got a philodendron giganticum blizzard. It had just one leaf and it was dying. I managed to recover it. <laughs> so this is how that plant looks like now. I have cut the old leaf off, but yeah. So I'm very happy that I managed to revive it so good. And hopefully these leaves can get gigantic like giganticum gigantium blizzard so i really hope that's the case um it has a new leaf coming there as well so i'm very happy about this plant and it lives in one of my cabinets so it's a very special one okay down to the last two they are both philodendrons and we can take the bigger one first this is philodendron pink glory <laughs> I also got this from Equigenera, and this is why I like it so much right now. It has a new leaf coming, and the new leaf is so pinkish and beautiful, and I'm so excited about it. I got this leaf not too long ago, so it's a very fast grower. But it's really good, and it's done very well. It's done very well in my care. But do you see this spot here? So it's no vent here in Sweden. Well, all over the world, I guess. And I placed my Christmas lights in the window. And I had this one in the window. And I did not think about the light bulbs. They get hot, like really, really hot. So I burned a leaf. So that's very annoying, but still it's my favorite because it has new leaf coming. I think this was, so it has new two new leaves in my care and I think I paid like 40 euros for this one. This was some special price, also from Equigenera, like I said. So I'm sorry I'm doing this a little bit too fast. I really need to study like a lot. I'm having some exams to do and yeah. But the last plant is a plant that I got maybe a year ago and I've taken a lot of cuttings of this one as well and it just looks so cute. Also in, it looks cute in the pot. Um, Philodendron Mikan's green form. I have the regular Mikan's. Uh, I don't like that as much. I mean, the regular markings are so pretty, but this one is, I don't know, so special to me. It's so, so cute. I don't have a lot to say about it, but I, I have it up and behind me on a shelf and I see it every day when I wake up and start to study or work and I will stop taking cuttings of this though because I really wanted to trail down like a lot. So I have been selling cuttings for this for my friends on Instagram like all the time because it's very fast growing and it's very easy to root in just water. But I don't think I want to take any more cuttings of it actually. So yeah. So these are my favorites for November. Um, are these 10 plants? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, yes, so this is 10 plants. I do have some favorites as well for this month that are on the floor because they are too big. But you know what? I think I will do like a big leaf November, no, sorry, like big leaf December favorites or something. So I will save those for another video. Um, 
So I hope you like this video and I want to tell you that there will be an unboxing soon. I hope I'm getting my package from Ecuador this weekend. No, this week on Friday. It's Tuesday today. So I hope I will get them on Friday. I'm not sure though. But if I do, you know what that means. It's an unboxing coming. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a really nice day. And before I study, I will take a walk in the sun. Bye.